Hello and welcome back to another snack size video in my Unreal Engine 4 tutorials. This one follows on from a previous snack size video where I showed how to do scrolling wheel camera zooms. So basically using this mouse wheel to scroll the zoom in of the camera and zoom out with the camera. So what I'm going to do in this episode is show you how to do that movement but more smoothly so it transitions nicely from one zoom to the next. So to accomplish this we need a new variable to store the target locate uh, target uh, value. So in the variables, click new variable and I'm going to call this one target and then underscore target arm length. And we're going to go to our previous wheel axis stuff we've done on the first snack size video. If you haven't looked at that, check out the link in the description below. And um, once you've got that, we're going to change this ending here. So I'm disconnecting all that and moving that away. And I instead, I'm going to put in our target underscore target arm length and choose set. And that will go into our return value from the clamp. Now, before we plug this in to the wheel axis, we need to do a branch because it only wants to update the target arm length if there's a value to update with. Because this is going to be like a tick event, it's always firing off. And most of the time, axis values can be zero. So if you put zero times minus 100, which is zero, add the current length, you're just going to get the same value out. It's never going to do what you want it to do. So instead, we're going to make it only update it if the uh, value has been greater or lower than zero. So to do that, I'm going to take this axis value out and just check whether or not it is not equal to zero. If it is not equal to zero, fine. We'll go into true and target arm length. Next is the actual movement part. So for that, I'm having a tick event. And on the tick event, we're going to drag out our previous code, which we had here. And the target arm length value is going to come from our uh, variable that we made. So drag that out and choose get. And then from there, we're going to do an f interp2. And f interp2 basically changes it from a current value to a target value based on the amount of time and speed we'll do that at. So the target target arm length is going to be the target pin of f interp2. The current is going to be our camera boom's target arm length. So I'm just going to copy and paste that from where we used it previously. The delta time is going to come from delta seconds on the tick. Or you can get the world delta seconds from the node if you wish. And for interp speed, I'm going to put in 5. I'm then going to drag return value into target arm length. Hit compile. Now you want your target target arm length to be the default value as your camera boom at start. So let's change that to 300 in this case. Hit compile and we can now close that. So now if I push play, we get smoother movement of the camera. And there you have it. And that is how you do camera zooms smoothly. So to explain what's going on here, our mouse wheel is getting us a value from its axis value, where we're moving it up or down. We're then adding that to the current arm length and clamping it to a range of 100 to 600. If the input is actually being detected as up or down, uh, in other words, not equal to zero, it will then set a new variable as a target arm length. So what is the target of the target arm length? And then on a tick event, we're constantly checking and updating the target arm length based on this f interp2, where it's going to smoothly transition between the current value of the target arm length to the target target arm length. And that's it. If you want to watch more of my videos before anyone else and you want to show your support, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey. Your donations and support are greatly appreciated. And in turn, I'll give you all my videos before anyone else, sometimes months ahead. Big thank you to all my patrons and my YouTube members for their continued support. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any of my videos that are released weekly. Thank you so much and I'll see you all next time. Bye.